take a quick peek around. So this is uh, the next generation interactive classroom. And you might be surprised. It's an attempt to really bring classrooms into the 21st century. By the look of Iowa State's newest classroom. The word's getting, getting around and it's becoming increasingly popular. Especially after knowing. This used to be a lounge area. In fact, there were couches down here and it wasn't surprising to see students sleeping here. Now home to aerospace engineering students. In, in some sense, this is an experimental facility. We're going to try different ideas out here and see what works and what doesn't. And the goal of the classroom is to get students to be able to work in an environment they're more accustomed to. You don't see any blackboards. Uh, everything is done by video presentation. The students interact more. They have mobile chairs. They can be able to move around and work in groups. We've got 12 screens surrounding the classroom. They can roll their chairs over and work uh, by those screens, talk amongst themselves. Uh, we also can run the, the, the room in a different mode where they can hook a laptop to the individual screens and work in their group meetings simultaneously. The uh, boards surrounding the room are actually glass whiteboards. They're illuminated with uh, state-of-the-art LED illumination. What we found is that students tune in to something on a video screen much more than they tune in to a professor standing at the front of class. Aerospace engineering professor Richard Welzen helped spearhead the new state-of-the-art learning environment. It's our attempt to respond to the fact that the university is growing and we need more classroom space. Uh, last year we couldn't find a classroom to run this class and so we had two options. We could traipse halfway across campus. We decided to just set up a screen in here and uh, connect a computer to it and have the students sit on folding chairs. And to our surprise, it was popular. So we thought, why not convert the lounge area into a permanent learning space? Uh, we wanted to maintain the open environment, but we wanted to also get some new technology in here. So I've kind of gone all out. Not just with the idea, but also in the way he presents his lectures. And the challenge with freshmen is getting them excited about being an engineer. So when I started teaching this class, I went back and did the old equations and, and uh, do the math sort of stuff, and I, I saw the students were quickly losing interest. <clears throat> and so I tried a few videos. And even when I took a video that was making the same point that I would lecture, the students seemed to lock into the videos quicker than they would lock into the standard way of doing things. See, the students were paying a lot of attention. They really resonate with that. I think it's a different way of teaching, and, and YouTube is my biggest helper. It's a very cool thing. Right now, two lectures and some labs are taught in this next generation classroom. And the students felt very comfortable in an environment that was more open. We thought they'd be more distracted when, in fact, they're actually more focused. It was a, exactly the opposite of what we expected. I think just the idea that they're free to move around you know, it, it, the old way of doing things, you had desks that were locked down to the floor and you had to keep everybody aligned. The fact that they can, can, can be free to, to group however they want uh, seems to resonate with them. And Wellson says the cost to transform this classroom is just about the same as a normal standard classroom. We put the money into different things. Instead of putting the money into uh, walls and, and aligning all the chairs in a straight uh, rectangular setup, uh, we invested in mobile chairs that are very comfortable for the students to sit in and invested in this whiteboard, uh, uh, gla a glass whiteboard and video screen set up. We've only been in here about a month and I've not heard one complaint about the room yet. The classroom in a lounge was just sort of a crazy idea. It worked better than I expected. A crazy idea indeed. The students like it. Uh, I've had students come to me and say this is their favorite place to study. Uh, it's quiet, it's secluded enough so that they can have some privacy, but open enough so that they're not locked away in a closet somewhere. It seems to be catching on. This is the first one, but uh, we saved the plans because we think it's going to go over well enough that we're going to want to build others.